humanity's been doing exploring and expanding and, and, and pushing the horizons for its, all of its known existence. And this is just the horizon that's further out. Well, astrobiology is this uh, really search for the evidence of life uh, beyond the Earth. What's up, Doc? Oh, oh, uh, I'm going to blow up the Earth. We are particularly excited about Mars because if you look at the entire history of Mars and its environment, it's the most Earth-like of the planets in our solar system and obviously Earth is our poster child for a place that's great for life. If you want to look for Mars life today, you basically need to be looking for fossils, and that sounds strange, but the point is is that Mars, with maybe an arrested stage of development because of the change in the environment, could be the only place anywhere we could get an insight about how life could begin in an Earth-like environment. You can't get it on the Earth because life has wiped out all that kind of information because it's been so successful. If they're on the surface, then they're sort of in a suspended animation, sort of a hibernation or something. If it's two miles down, you can't get at it. But if there was a discovery of a fossil and you could start this path of figuring out where it came from, then I think the public and, and maybe funding sources would be much more uh, amenable to doing what it takes to, to really trying to find life itself alive. We have to be prepared to look for sort of the examples of this gray zone between pre-life and life. It's not just enough to see a little spherical shape or an elongate shape that looks like a cell. Really, you have to see a population. To go to Mars and to be able to see a sample of something that is the process undergoing uh, towards chemical evolution up towards life, actually to see something that is a witness of what happened on Mars would be profoundly important to us. And people try to do experiments about origin of life type experiments in the laboratory. How do these certain key molecules like DNA, RNA, how were they first made? How are the first proteins made? And this sort, of, this sort of touches on biotechnology also. Because in biotechnology, you're trying to create new useful products and functions by mimicking the kinds of things that life has done. You know, it's nice to do experiments in the lab and you can make molecules that are functional, but what really happened in that environment that led to us? Nothing like just going there and, and looking.